Australia, first and foremost, brings a lot of expertise and resources in mining, uh, which is obviously a prevalent part of this mission. But in terms of the individuals that we've been able to work with, anywhere from fresh out of university to decades in defense and mining, we've noticed that a lot of the Australian uh, workforce has relevant hands-on experience, which has been really prevalent in our stage one development of the prototypes where we're actually developing hardware and software. In addition to that, we've noticed that there's very much a collaboration first mindset. Because this is a lunar rover um, and the environment that we need to work within, we've really had to build a team to support that very specific type of activity that's going on. So we've got a lot of systems engineers on the team, we have roboticists on the team, and then all of those engineering capabilities, the mechanical, the electrical, the software engineers, all of those have to come together. And it's actually, that's one of the most exciting things about building a spacecraft team or a space rover team, is that you how you have no choice but to bring together these diverse skills and bring them together into a team to accomplish the goal. And at the same time, they're looking at those technologies and how our team pulls those technologies together, how they bring that all together under one umbrella that is ultimately gonna operate on the moon for a few Earth days. It's a broad mix of Australian experts that come from industry and academia that have the technical capabilities in modeling, in manufacturing, um, in uh, research and development. Um, and also we have a group that are part of the next generation of the STEM um, group here in Australia. This is a mission that's going through the entire life cycle. So design work that's happening in Australia, um, build work that will happen in Australia, test, um, integration and, um, and operations. So showing that, that that Australia can be part of every aspect of a space mission life cycle is really critical. One of our first and the most important achievement has been we have recruited so many fresh university graduates. Not only that, we, are also, we have also been able to instill a belief that space is well within reach. And I think that's a phenomenal uh, thing to, for, a, for a fresh university graduate to experience. What I find most exciting about this project is it's not just us working on it, there's companies all around Australia contributing. So we've got uh, EPE up in Brisbane, University of Adelaide, RMIT, uh, Melbourne Space Laboratory and Element Robotics. Everyone is all chipping in. We're bringing each other up and developing the skills and experience in Australia and working together to build a rover that's going to be super capable and reliable. I think there's always going to be uh, a sense of real excitement and uh, accomplishment in being a part of what is the first Australian lunar mission. I can't express enough how amazing it would be to see hardware that I've worked on on the moon with an Australian flag on it. It'll just be incredible. Being able to say, hey look, that's my country's rover there on the moon, um, is something that's really great for kids and for the future generation. And I hope that this mission is not just a one-time thing for our country, but that it can actually catalyze a change towards being open to being in space and to finding new ways to apply Australian technologies and the expertise we already have and being able to apply that to a new environment that can give us both exciting opportunities as a country and better ways to collaborate internationally and ways to hopefully change the future for the better.